What's going on guys, it's Dan here from Table Tennis Daily and today I'm joined alongside a former Olympian, four times to be precise, Damien Eloua from France, a fantastic player. He now works for Andro as their product man, you know, he's helping create some of the blades, innovation, great guy to talk to, a fun dude, so he's hanging out with me today and we're going to be testing the blade that he uses from Andro, the Triber FO. Now this is his blade of choice. So it's going to be interesting to find out why he's chosen this blade out of the selection of Andro's blades. In a big move by Andro, they have downsized their whole blade range from 60 to 22 blades. The idea behind this was to make it an easier choice for players. They felt like players had to make a lot of choice when there's tons of blades. It's hard to choose. So by narrowing it down and rebranding, hopefully should make it easier for players. That's kind of the idea behind it. And for more detail in that, check out in the links below an interview I did with Damien where we really take a more closer look at this. When I first had a look at all these new blades from Andro, I did notice that they are a lot smoother and the build quality does feel a lot better, especially the finish in terms of the lens and the bottom part of the handle, it's just smoother. For example, here's the Triber K, which is one of the old style of blades. It's a little bit more rougher. You know, it doesn't have the same smooth finish. Whether that's gonna help your table tennis or not, I don't know, but you can tell that they have put a lot of attention into this new new whole rebrand, so it is nice. Also, the packaging is a lot more, what's the word, appealing, better quality. I mean, if you look at the old packaging, it's just a bit of card and, yeah, it's, you know, it's not great. But this packaging, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty neat. It's not going to, uh, not going to break. These things put, fall to pieces, so another additional bonus. So with the Triber FO as Damien's main blade of choice, we'll be primarily using this blade throughout the review, looking at it, finding out what Damien likes about it and why he uses it in his gameplay. So that'll be interesting. We'll also compare it to the Ligna CO and also the new Nova Cell series and the basic line as well. So the Triber FO roughly weighs around 90 grams. Now it has a Hanoki top ply and the Texalium fiber on the inner layer. So Hanoki top, and the Texialium, so it's a seven ply blade. And throughout the review on each blade, we had the Rosanta R50 on the forehand, a harder sponge of the Rosanta series, and the Rosanta R47 on the backhand side. Okay, that's enough of me talking now. Don't wanna bore you too much. Let's check out the review and let's see Damien in action. So then I'm uh, looking forward to testing your skills in table tennis. So I will give you my blade. I prepared it already and we, we will see what you can do. I'm excited. Okay, let's do it. Come on. You heard it from the man himself. I'm gonna be trying out the Triber FO blade that he uses. Early on, it did remind me of other Hanoki blades that I've tried in the past, such as the Primrac Carbon. It gave that really quick rebound effect, but had that soft control that you get with Hanoki blades. Quite hard, yet just had a good rebound effect. It was really nice and I liked it for the blocking early on. Look at this! Ooh! A touch! Ooh, yeah! Oh, I didn't see! <laughs> Come on, Damien, spin! Oh yeah! Oh, that's like oh, you! That, I see, what a spin! Unbelievable, Dan! <laughs> Oh, bravo. It's faster, it's nice, it's controlled it's like, as yeah. well. It's, I told you the arc is quite high uh -huh. and finally, even with quite high speed, the control is still okay, I would say, it's still good. Like always with professional players, the amount of spin Damien was producing really was phenomenal. He has so much wrist in his forehand, which really surprised me. Usually players use more rotation with the body and legs, but Damien with his wrist, it was so fast, and he was snapping into the ball, getting huge amounts of spin. Here is my garden. 
When I'm here, it's my garden. Done. Personally, I do find blades that use Hanoki as the outer ply have a bit more control than traditional carbon blades using harder outer woods such as Koto. With the Hanoki, you can feel the ball a bit more sinking into the blade on contact. I really like the Triber FO during my backhand, especially with the top spin shot. I felt it was quite crisp and fast. Even though it's using Hanoki, it's not completely soft because the fibre layer underneath is quite hard. The Texalium is a pretty hard fibre which makes this blade quite stiff. And this really helps you with your stability during topspin attacks. My backhand is not my strongest point. I'm, I can make, of course, the first backhand topspin, but then mostly I make aggressive uh, counter. So I like it because it's quite hard. And then I can re okay. really push quite hard like this. And it's often one shot to wait for the next forehand. Okay, so, see, see. so I make, I push diagonal and then I can step around again. Of course, those who knows me good, they play parallel and then I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You see? Uh -huh. This is what I, easy I, was, for you. I was speaking about. When I push a bit though, it's, it's, it's not so easy for the opponent to play okay, strong. the good players, they can do it. And then I'm in trouble, of course. But it's not so easy. It's, it's a risk to block parallel. Uh -huh. So they prefer to block diagonal. And there I have to finish the point off. Now next season, everybody will look this and everybody will block parallel. <laughs> <laughs> I will not win one match. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So now down, if you're okay, we'll try one exercise I do every time at uh, warming up. It's a, a little bit of counter spin. So I will toss spin the first ball, you will block, I will defend, okay. you will make a toss spin, I will counter spin. It's a way of feeling the ball in counter spin. Okay? So this is, this is a warm up you do quite often? Yeah, I do yeah. every time. Because ah. depending on the hole, sometimes counter spin, you must hit the ball a bit stronger or a little bit smoother, a little bit. Uh -huh. It depends sometimes on the hole, how you feel the. So I always do this in warm up. Oh, good, okay. I try, I have to lift your backspin first. <laughs> okay, normally my opponents make a toss spin. <laughs> He's not used to this level. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's there a good one. I don't miss one with this blade. I feel very good. Uh. Yeah. Et voilà. <laughs> <laughs> it's always like this, eh? It is, it is. I knew it before. Yeah, you knew what you had. I, I knew it was so stupid that yeah. I said so. <laughs> Once I got the feel for the Triber FO, I opened up well, which shows the blade has sufficient arc and dwell, as Damien was producing a lot of backspin on the ball. Pity. The blade worked well when producing spin and opening the play. However, when Damon dropped off the table, I was making quite a few unforced errors when trying to crunch through the ball with power. Because the blade is very fast and I had the Rosanta R50 on the forehand, which is a hard rubber, it was too quick for me to handle. A slightly softer rubber such as the R47 on the forehand would have helped out a lot more. Hinoki carbon blades are known for being very quick so it can take a little time to adjust to. Okay, you see Dan, this was one of the strengths of my game. Uh -huh. When I was playing, I had still have good service, I guess. And then after the receive, I try to make a very good spin. So mm -hmm. maybe I don't win the point directly, but I'm then in a very good position anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with backhand sometimes, but mostly with forehand also. You see, from here, when I step around. Then it's, of course, with this blade, I, I don't know, I have a good feeling. I have the feeling my ball will be strong enough, even if I don't put 100%, which mm -hmm. gives me more security, of course. 
blood, sweat and tears. Never try to toss pin a short service. It doesn't work, Dan. <laughs> this doesn't work. <laughs> okay, now, Dan, we try uh, the Tepe Ligna CO, uh -huh. which is, of course, a bit different than the Triber FO. Uh, as I told you, it's a very uh, comfortable blade to hold. Yeah, it's because really the, the, very nice. the, the handle is very well made and uh, the details are really well worked and uh, you will see. Woo. Good, okay. Mm -hmm. And then the Triber FO. Yeah. So this is much faster, yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you feel the ball going. Yeah. Staying a bit longer. You can. The ball stays a bit longer in the, in the racket. Mm -hmm. And it's a better feeling, of course, to control. For sure. I think for players who, like you said earlier, who maybe don't have as good technique or practice often, this will have, they'll have more control with their yeah, attacks. Yeah. Good players can, uh, for example, I think about players who are more, also top players, but more in the, in the feeling, in the placement, in the change of rotation, yeah. this kind of things, which of course is not the more often you yeah. meet today because players are very fast today, but still there is. And this is a good combination because with this, they can put the ball exactly where they want with the spin they want. This is good, huh? It's like you. Yeah, <laughs> better. <laughs> no. Maybe a little more softer with the Ligna. Yeah. And what about the trajectory? Do you feel it's a bit the same or more? Maybe art? a little bit more. It's a bit more. Even more, more art yeah. with the Ligna. Yeah. This can be, yeah. <laughs> Good. And then the Triber FO. Yeah. This is more powerful. For the power? Yeah. More power. If I was to choose one of these, I would probably have yeah. to choose the Triber as well. It's, it's more powerful for me yeah. and I can be more attacking. Yeah, if, if you don't do mistakes, yeah. why not? The limit is if you realize that when you block, uh -huh. you don't control the ball. When you overspin, you make too many mistakes. Yeah. Then better to use this one. Okay. Because it's more control and more, uh, uh, and still, still fast, but a bit slower, but still fast. Uh -huh. I try some backhand spin. Yeah. And play free. This is the Triber. Oh, oh, parallel! Oh, oh, oh. You're safe to play free! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. Hey, that was the Triber, this is the Ligna. Uh. Wow! It's, it's a lot more uh, feeling. Yeah. When I serve, yeah. I can feel the ball sink. Already a turbid. Uh. Uh. Oh! Wow! See? Look at this. This is like Marlin. I wouldn't have top spin this one neither. <laughs> you would have cut your hand. <laughs> yeah. Spinny. Oh. Oh, oh, I land on the table. That was good. <laughs> wow. What is this shot? Yeah. <laughs> the flick fade. Yeah, yeah. Nice. This is. I'm using this quite a much, okay. the foreign flick. And, and today, when, when you look a little bit the, the, the top players in Porto, many are receiving like this. Yeah. But here, there's not so many players who can make good foreign flick, like, uh, for example, Harimoto. Yeah. He's doing it perfectly. He, he can do this very good, but if you serve here up spin, then directly you will receive this. Yeah. But some have problems. Me, it's maybe more the old generation. I'm, Okay here, but with this foreign back and flick, it's not my yeah I see my kind of play. Okay, I'm more with foreign. Wow, like this. All right, so here's some points between me and Damien, where we both used the Triber FO. I had the Rosanta R50 on my forehand and the Rosanta R47 on my backhand side. Oh! <laughs>
Oh yes! Ah! Yeah, revenge. You see, I take revenge. <laughs> you were too good. We had a lot of blades to try there, Damien. I had a really yeah. nice time with you today. Thank you for your time. And, uh, You're welcome. It was a pleasure. But my question is, which blade do you like the most? Yeah, that's a good question. For me, straight away, I, I feel the tri, but I think because I'm used to this, I've used it a lot in the past. Mm -hmm. And it's a carbon blade, which I like. I like yeah, the feeling okay. of carbon. Okay. I feel like with this blade, I get the power and, and still have the control, which is really okay. nice, even though okay. it is very quick. Yeah. So I wouldn't recommend this for players who are still working on the technique and mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. in the first few years okay. of training. So there you are guys, there's the review of the Triber FO, as well as some of the other new blades from the 2018 Andro Blade series. As I just mentioned there, the Triber FO was my favourite as it suits me best. It is a counter topspin machine and will really suit players who play all out attack from close to mid distance to the table. This does mean however that you have to be pretty precise when serving and when playing short game strokes such as touches and flicks as the blade is very responsive and the ball can rebound quickly. This means that players who haven't fully developed their finest shots yet may struggle to control the ball with this blade. In general, the Triber FO is not for beginners and requires efficient technique due to its high speed. The Nova Cell or Timber series would be of a better choice from the Andro Blade range for players who need more control from their blade. The Triber FO has a unique feel due to the Texalium fiber layer and gives you a lot of dwell time when playing against spin due to the Hanoki outer pliers. This soft feeling yet stiff blade allows you to get a lot of stability and quality in your shots as well as high end speed. That's a wrap guys, we hope you enjoyed the review. Let us know in the comments what you think of Andro's new blade lineup. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.